Now we're going to set the open and close switches. These switches are going to tell the microcontroller where the open and close position are on the valve. We'll do the open switch first. I'm going to engage the hand wheel and I'm going to take the actuator to the open position, which is about here. Now that we're in the open position, we will do the half turn counter. And this is where we want the open cam to activate. I'll remove the dome. In this position, the open switch should be activated by the green cam. For me to adjust this, I'm going to loosen the lock nut. And then adjust the green adjust knob to adjust the green cam. I want to hold the whole assembly together to make sure I don't accidentally move other cams. And I'm going to move it slightly until I can hear the mechanical switch for the open switch activate. I'm going to lock everything into place so it doesn't move. Reinstall the indicator. Um, also while we're here we're going to make sure that the potentiometer error light does not turn on. So in that open position we had no feedback pot error so we're still in span. Now we're going to take the valve to the open, uh, closed position. I've hit the travel stops. Now for this size 30 actuator, we recommend doing a one half turn back on the hand wheel. And this is where the closed cam will need to activate. And for me to adjust the red cam, which is going to control the closed switch, I'm going to again loosen the lock nut and adjust the red cam. I'm listening for the audible click of the switch. And we're going to lock everything down. And here we've encountered a scenario where the potentiometer is out of span. So we were in span in the open state, and now we're out of span in the closed state. So what we're going to do is adjust the potentiometer to put us back into the viewing window of the potentiometer. To do that, we will adjust the black knob, which controls the black gear linked to the potentiometer. I will loosen the lock nut. And now while holding the red and green cams, I'll adjust the potentiometer gear till the light turns off. And I'm looking at the feedback pot error. There, I've the light is turned off. I brought the potential order back into span. I want to lock everything down. Put the indicator back on. And that completes the adjustment of the cams. I will then cycle the actual open and close to make sure we stayed in span for the entire 90 degree motion. Now I want to verify that we stay in the potentiometer span for the full 90 degrees of motion. So we've already tested the close. Let's take the actuator back into the open position. And I'm looking for this potentiometer fault light to turn on or not. You don't want it to turn on.
that's full open. So we've proven that the actuator stays in the viewing window of the potentiometer for its 90 degrees of motion, and we've shown that the open and closed switches are activating. This unit is now ready to go into the auto, cal auto calibration step. Another way to verify you are in the span of the potentiometer is with the use of a voltmeter. You can put a voltmeter on the three terminals located here using the common plot positive and then measuring the wiper voltage and then the full potentiometer voltage. This will give you a viewing window of what the potentiometer is outputting and in the table uh, on the screen you'll see the voltage readouts you should see at the close and open positions.